They are!
What's with you two? Cheer up! We couldn't save enough money. After all that work, too. But we don't know when that'll be. Right. Jeez, I really hate it when it gets like this. Just go home and rest. There's no point brooding over it here, okay? I guess... I don't feel like doing anything anymore. Yeah. They can be such a handful. You know what to do now. I'm home. What's wrong? I heard from Malvi. Just because you couldn't do it now doesn't mean you'll never be able to. But we both tried so hard. Really? Come on. You cry so easily. Do you think crybabies can become adventurers? I'm not crying! Oh, fine. Huh? Money? Go on and become a stupid adventurer. Be sure to come home once you get your license, though. Uh, are you sure? No, I'm still against it. But Malvi keeps telling me to let you. She says you two will be fine. And I wouldn't want you to sit around here and mope all the time. Wow. Thanks, Zetsy. What? This isn't enough for the carriage fee. That can't be right. That should be enough for a round trip for two. But Gino said it'll cost a hundred thousand coal. One hundred thousand coal? Who would ask for such a large sum of money? I bet Peter was just pulling his leg. Ah! D dad How long were you there? How long? I came home with Setsi. Oh, really? I didn't even notice. Uh, anyway, what do you mean by Peter pulling Gino's leg? That boy's always slacking off. He asks for impossible sums whenever he doesn't feel like working. I thought everyone in the village already knew that. Oh, really? That's terrible! We were so depressed about it! Peter's always been like that. He never changes. Ooh... Then maybe I didn't need your help with the money after all. Don't worry. Go ahead and use it. You might need to buy some things once you become an adventurer. But... But you're not allowed to just waste it. Be careful out there. Okay. Let's have dinner. You should go to bed soon because you need to wake up early tomorrow. I should tell Gino first. When she heard me say she can be an adventurer. I think it's great. It's better than her being depressed. I know. But I'm still not sure about it. Even if she's a depressed mess, I'd rather she stay home and not become an adventurer. Don't worry. Totori won't end up like her. Left? Yeah. You're a terrible man. Sorry. Gina was so persistent, I couldn't help myself. Besides, Setsi was against you going to our land. That doesn't make it okay for you to lie. But thanks to my lie, Setsi's letting you go, right? You should be grateful. Maybe. I'm still not convinced. Oh, whatever. Let's just hurry up and go. Calm down. It'll be a long journey. So let's just take it easy. Totori! Gino! What? what Sassy? I, I don't want to get in the way of your goodbyes. I'll wait for you way over there. Pansy. Yep. I'm glad I made it in time. Here's your lunch. All three of you should share it, okay? Okay. Thanks. I need to take care of something. Hey, Peter! Get over here! What? Get away from me! You better be sure they get there safe. If anything happens to them, you'll never see the light of day again. Don't worry.
worry. Nothing will ever happen while they're in my carriage. I'm starting to get really worried. Maybe I should tag along. God, don't! I definitely don't want you to come! Those two seem to be having fun. Is that how you see it? Be careful out there, okay? Gino, be sure to take care of Totori. Yeah, leave her to me. Listen up. You've always been like this since we were small. I said that. Jeez, don't you ever quit. I'm going now. Everyone get on. Oh, sure. Bye. Be sure not to eat anything weird. Watch out for strangers offering you treats when you get to town. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, I'm off. She's gone. It's gonna be quiet around the house for a while. Why the long face? She'll be back before you know it. Yeah. Hey! This carriage goes a lot faster than I expected! But it's so shaky. Days? Oh. But it'd be even longer if you walked. Oh, that's true. I might get to see my teacher, too. I can hardly wait. Yeah. Adventurers. Finally. I'm so excited. Ugh. This is starting to get boring. Ugh. The shaking is making me queasy. Come on, snap out of it. I don't know if I can. Ugh. But you said that would be dangerous. Ugh. Hey, Peter. Do we there yet? Just one more day. Try to be patient. One more day. Finally. You're really out of it, huh? Are you okay? I think I'm done for. I didn't know being an adventurer was so tough. But you've just been riding in a carriage. Whoa! <sighs> I hit my head! Hey! Why did you stop all of a sudden? Really bad. What? 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 That's a monster! I've never seen one so huge! This is really bad! Huh? I can hear the wood cracking! It's going to crush the carriage! What are we going to do? I don't know! I've never seen anything like it before! Jeez, you're so useless! Oh, eh, what do we do? What do we do? Calm down. We've got to fight. Fight it? I can't! We can't win! We have to do it! Come on! Let's go! Huh? I really can't! Bring it on! Huh? <laughs> oh, no! Hey! Where'd it go? Looks like I made it in time. Wow! The monster's knocked out! He looks really scary. Scary? Oh, I'm sorry! Did you hear me? <laughs> scary isn't right. What I meant was... Wow! That old guy beat the monster by himself! Old guy... Ah, watch your mouth, Gino! You helped us big time back there! I don't know how to thank you. It was merely my duty as a knight. I didn't think such a monster would appear so close to our land. I'm surprised too. I've been working around here for a while, but not- I see. I'll take care of the report. You three should get to town right away. Hey! Don't ignore me, old man! Gino! He's glaring at you! He's glaring at you really hard! Take care. He's gone! I think he looked cool, like a real adventurer. I was so scared. All right, I think the carriage can still operate.
Whoa! It's totally different from our village. Look! The ground is made from stone. These houses are huge. Stop gawking! I'll stay here to take you home to... Tomorrow afternoon, huh? That doesn't give us a lot of time. Let's go get our license. Sure. Isn't it obvious? You don't know? I thought we'd get one, like, as a gift when we got here. It'll be fine. Let's just ask a local. H hey! What? Um... We'll find out. Right. No. <laughs> huh? Whoa. Wait. Weird. Wait. wait. Welcome. Huh. Wow, is this a forge? They're okay, kiddo. Um. Huh? I really don't be sick. I guess so. So okay. we came from. Oh, the name's Hagel. Oh, my Hagel seems a bit. You were just staring. Uh, I wasn't. <laughs> Sorry, he looks scary. If you want to be an adventurer, you what? We actually. You don't even know that. I'm head west when you <laughs> go on. Won't you be okay? I want to look around some more. We don't have time. Yeah. Those kiddos look like they'll need lots of help. They're just like a certain girl a few years back. Workshop. Your teacher? You mean for alchemy? Yeah, see? It says Atelier Rorona right there. Teacher! Teacher! Maybe she's not home. There's a note on the door. Master ran away again. I'm going to bring her back. Please chastise her if you see her. See that? Did I scare you? N no! I'm sorry I freaked out. Wow, she's beautiful. It's Tiffany! <laughs> Tiffany's here! That's so great. I thought I wouldn't get my fix today. It's thanks to that girl. She's awesome. They're all excited for some reason. Don't worry about them. They're always like that. Well, it's nice to meet you. My name is Tiffany. I'm Totori. Nice Totori? Oh, so you're her. Verona's little pupil, right? You know my teacher? Yes, Verona's a regular of mine. She mentioned finding a really cute student. C cute? B but uh, I'm really not. Hey, Totori. Gino, are you done? Uh, there wasn't anything I wanted. Those old guys were getting hyped over nothing. Let's go. We need oh, right. It's all right. I should apologize for keeping you here. I will.
strong. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm Ixel. No I overheard you say you came by carriage. I'm no kid. Well, not yet. We came here to get our licenses. Adventures, huh? It's a bit of a pain to get a license nowadays. Well, today's a special day for you two. Really? We couldn't do that. I have some money so I can pay you. Kids should accept goodwill when they can. Repay me by telling people about my food when you travel. Tell everyone to come to the Sunrise Cafe when they arrive at Arland. I'll advertise if your food's good. I won't do it if it sucks. Gino? <laughs> Cheeky little brat, sure thing. I'll make you eat those words after having a taste of my food. I'm glad he's so nice. You shouldn't be rude, Gino. What? I only speak the truth. Maybe. But you better thank him after you finish eating. What are you, my mom? This must be the castle's re Seems that way. So what do we do to No point worrying about- I said no! When I said you can't have it, I meant it! Oh, I'm so sorry! Wait, I wasn't the one getting yelled at, was I? It came from over there! You're right! Then tell me why! Tell me why I'm not allowed to get my adventurer's license! Because a rude little baby without manners doesn't deserve one! You... you're the one with no manners! How dare you talk to me like that! I'm the head of the Schwarzlong family! Oh, you're from the Schwarzlong family? I'm a member of the Feuerbach family. Looks like we're both aristocrats. Don't compare me to you! Your family bought their status with money, you vulgar nouveau riche! Stupid. And you put on airs and decide to flaunt it around here? Oh, you can't win with words, so you resort to force. Aristocrats nowadays are no different from barbarians. Ah! What did you say? Wow, that's scary. It looks like the tiny one is winning. Chino? Nah, it's fine. Ah, don't pull on my arm! Oh, sorry. Ow. What do you want? If you get in my way, I'll show you no quarter. Uh-oh! No, it's not that. I just tripped and fell. But, um, I came to get my adventurer's license. So, can you consider the situation before opening your... Mm -hmm. Huh? This? My teacher gave it to me. Teacher? That's Rorona's staff. Hey, are you the student Rorona was talking about? Um, yes. Rorona is my teacher, but... Why didn't you tell me sooner? Aha. Uh -huh. So you're Rorona's... Come on over here. I'll give you as many licenses as you want. Uh, oh, but I only need one. Hey! How could you give a license to that redneck and not me? What? You're still here? Yes, I am! Look, she's an alchemist. There are only three in the entire nation. She's valuable. Understand? Her? An alchemist? Yes. She's the student of Roro Lina Frixel, the alchemist who led this nation to prosperity. That means she's the student's student of the infamous Astrid Zexis. You still got a problem with her? <laughs> Y yes Your name. Tell me your name. Um, it's Totary. Totary. I'll remember that name. Huh? Huh? Why does it seem like she has a grudge against me? Jeez, people who 
want their status, always cower in front of others with a higher title. Hey, you came to get your license, didn't you? Come with me. Hey, Totori! No fair! What about me? Oh, sorry! Sure, you can come together. Great. I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Cordelia. I take care of all the formalities involving adventurers. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, um, Cordelia, how do you know my teacher? Verona and I are inseparable. I guess you could say we're childhood friends or best buds, something like that. I don't think I get it. There we go. Adventurer licenses for two. You're both official adventurers now. Wow, so this is an adventurer license. Hooray, I'm an adventurer now. Huh? That's it? Are you sure? It's fine. Anyone can be an adventurer if they want. Uh, oh, really? Then what about that girl? She's out of the question. If she had just asked nicely, I would have given it to her. Oh, it's easy to become an adventurer, but it's up to you to become first rate. I know. We have to go on adventures and beat up strong monsters, right? It's not that simple. Fine. Allow me to explain the details. That should do it. You understand? Um, yes. Somewhat. Something about points? And we have to get it updated? Simply put, you go on adventures, beat monsters, fulfill requests, and synthesize lots of items. You'll learn as you go. That's not much different from what we already do. Right. But now that we have a license, we can explore places we weren't allowed to before. Uh-oh, I forgot something important. The license expires three years from today. Be sure you don't forget that. Three years? What happens after that? If your rank is high enough, and I see you're fit as an adventurer, I'll renew it. And if my rank is low? Your license will be revoked. You'll never be allowed to register as an adventurer again. Uh, isn't that really strict? If you don't slack off, it's not tough. We don't want useless adventurers taking up space. Um, I'm starting to get worried. What are you getting depressed over? We have three years. It'll be easy. That's it for my explanations. Are you two sticking around the area for a while? We're going back to our village tomorrow. Isn't that rushing things? You won't get to see Rorona then. I don't know where she's wandered off to, but she hasn't come back in a long time. I tried going to her workshop earlier, but no one was there. Speaking of which, I'm sure you two didn't book a room at the inn. Stay the night in Rorona's workshop. Her workshop? Are you sure that's okay? It's fine. You could stay at my place, but I have a lot of work left because of that stupid girl. Here's the key to the workshop. Thank you. But why do you have the key to her workshop? Huh? Well, because she's too careless. If she carried it, she'd just lose it. That's why I keep it safe for her. That makes a lot of sense. But saying that makes me think I'm being rude to my teacher. Hey, let's go. It's gonna be another long carriage ride, so we'll need as much sleep as we can get. Wait! Well, goodbye. Yeah, I'll see you off tomorrow if I have time. So that's Verona's student. The two seem almost identical to me.
Hello? Anybody home? So this is teacher's workshop. There's a lot of weird stuff here. Isn't this messier than your place? That's only because Sexy always cleans my workshop for me. Is this a weapon? And this one is... Whoa, it's gotta be a bomb. Hey, don't touch that. It looks so complex. I wonder if I'll be able to make stuff like that someday. Let's look over here. I'm sure there's something even better. I said not to touch anything. Come on, you look like you were gonna. But, but that's because... Let's just go to sleep. I'm pooped. Where? Where? On the bed. Wait, I only see a couch. I don't see any blankets either. This door is locked. Does this mean I have to sleep on the floor? How did she live like this? I'll just find some corner to sleep in. Go ahead and use the couch. Are you sure? Yeah. My blood's still pumping from getting this license. I'm going to fiddle around with the stuff here. Please don't break anything. Well, good night. Oh, this smells like her. I wonder if she sleeps here all the time. I wanted to see her and let her know I became an adventurer before I told anyone else. Thank you for everything, Cordelia. You're welcome. Did you sleep well? I slept on the floor, so I'm sore all over. It was my first time sleeping on a couch, so my back's a little sore. Oh, right. I forgot the workshop was still like that. But you'll be camping outdoors a lot as adventurers, so staying there was much better than that, right? Sure, I guess. Hey, let's get going! Okay. Bye-bye, Cordelia. The next time we'll meet is when you update your license. If I see Rorona, I'll tell her to stay put for once. Okay. Until next time. See you later, Shorty. What? Who are you calling short? Whoa, what are you upset about? I was giving you a compliment. How is that a compliment? Maybe Cordelia is sensitive about it. Hey! Get down here! I'm gonna teach you how to talk to your elders! No! I'm gonna beat it into your brain! She's serious! Let's get out of here! You sure? All right! Away we go! Hey, wait! Come back here! kids finally it felt even longer than the trip there I think it was shaking harder too you remember how we were attacked by a monster on the way there I better get it repaired this carriage was pretty run down yeah I tried to take it to its limit but I think it's time I get it fixed don't mind me you guys need to go home your families are probably worried okay thank you people we'll use you when we need to go back to our land
It feels like it's been so long. I... Sexy, I'm home. Late. Ah, I I'm sorry. When is she gonna come home? I've been cooking her a feast every single day just in case. There, there. Calm down. It's great I can eat good food every day, but my gut's starting to jut out. Peter's always such a slacker when it comes to that carriage. Sometimes he returns after two weeks, but other times he's gone for months. Getting mad at him won't help you any. Dad! Aren't you worried about Totori? Of course I am. That's not my point. Um, Setsy? Why are you always so cold to her? What do you think, Totori? I don't know. Dad's always really nice. Why are you on his side? What's with you two? I'm just worried about Toto. Totori? Uh, um, I'm home. Huh? Huh? Uh. <laughs> well, when did you come home? Just a bit ago. I really tried to hurry back. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Oh no. I better warm up your dinner. I also have to... Oh, jeez. I've been preparing your dinner every day, but you suddenly come back when I'm not ready. Tetsi, please calm down. Welcome home, Totori. Did you get to become an adventurer? Hi, Dad. Take a look at this. Oh, that brings back many memories. Congratulations. Thank you. So, Dad... Was Setsi like that the whole time? Yeah, she's been that way non-stop after about ten days into your trip. Oh, I guess I made her worry about me. She'll be fine now that you're back. You should stay at the village a while. Yeah. Setsi, let me help. Huh? It's okay. You're the guest of honor tonight. Just sit down and wait. But I won't get to talk to you if I do that. Can I? Oh, fine. She came back a bit more mature than when she left. I guess she's a real adventurer now. Hmm? I'm in a fluffy bed. Oh, right. I made it back home. An adventurer. I became an adventurer! I'm an adventurer starting today. Let's do this. What should I do first? I can go find materials, synthesize items, or take requests from the tavern. Hmm. But I'll get to explore a lot more places because I got a license. Totori, it's time to wake up. Oh, you're already awake. That's rare. It's not going to be rare anymore. I'm an adventurer now so I can wake up all by myself. Well, don't you sound so reliable. I can keep it up forever. I don't need your help anymore, because I can do everything on my own. Oh? Then I guess you don't need me to cook your meals or clean your workshop anymore. What a relief. Huh? Wait! I if it's not too much trouble, I'd still like you to cook my meals. I'm kidding. Now go on and eat your breakfast. I have to go somewhere today. Okay. I'll start working after breakfast.
Pamela? Oh, Totori. It's been ages. I was wondering if you were gone forever. I'm sorry. I went to get this. See? An adventurer's license? You were at our land? Yep. I wanted to tell you I'm finally an adventurer. No fair. Well, why are you mad? Why didn't you tell me you were going to our land? I wanted to go too. Really? But you could always go there by carriage. It's no fun going alone. I always wanted to go on an all-girl trip. But, but I didn't... I'm so sorry. Boo. Oh, fine. I guess I should congratulate you for now. Thank you. If you're an adventurer, you'll go to our land often. I'll tag along every time you do. It would be kind of a problem if you did that. Don't worry. I'll just do it anyway. I can't wait. It's been so long since my last vacation. It's not supposed to be a vacation. Peter? It's getting repaired. Did you forget I said it needed to be fixed after that monster attack? I guess you did, yeah. I don't know. We can't. What's it got to do with me? If you get... Well... It meets me. You really don't care, do What am I supposed to do? I'm not the one repairing it. I'll tell you when it's fixed. Huh? On the job already? Uh-huh. I asked Gerard to hire me, but Gerard rarely has any customers. Are you worrying about how I choose to run my business? Uh, Gerard! It's my store, where I... Huh? Would you like seconds? Oh, um... Sure, uh, I'll have more. Me too! I'll have another, Tetsy. How about that? Oh. You didn't know? Nope. Well, no. You might be the only customer I'll deal with for some time to come. Oh, that's great! Don't worry about it. Thank you! <laughs> I'm counting on you. 